So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fade music in or out in a couple different ways. Hi there and welcome back to How Do You Do That on KineMaster. So today we're going to talk about music, fading it in and fading it out. When I first started using KineMaster, this was something that was a little tricky for me to learn. So I'm gonna show you two ways to fade music in and out. The first way you can do it is when you wanna fade just at the beginning of a project or at the end of a project. And that is by going over here to our settings button. We're going to click on the settings and that's going to open up our audio first. So we come down here and audio fade in at the start of a project, we simply click to on and then we can adjust whether we want it to be half a second, one second, two seconds, three seconds, and we can determine how long we want that fade in to be. And we can do the same thing for audio fade out at the end of the project. And you can set that accordingly as well. Once you have that in place, you just go ahead and add in your music. the plus sign to add the music and you can see the music is there in the project. Now before we can have it fade at the end we have to make the music end so we're going to trim that at the end by using our scissors and trimming it to the right. From there on all we have to do is listen to it and you will see that it fades in and fades out very nicely. This is great for working on the beginning and the end of the project. However, if you want your music to fade in and out somewhere in the middle of the project, you're going to have to do it a little bit differently. Okay, so let's say we want the music to end after this first clip. We're simply going to highlight the layer, trim it to the right, so that now our music ends with this clip. If we listen to it, we're going to hear it just end abruptly. Nah, I don't really like how that sounds. I don't want it to end abruptly. So what I want it to do is fade. However, this is not the end of my project, so using the settings button is not going to work. I'm going to highlight the music layer. I'm going to click on volume envelope, and I'm going to decide where it is that I want the music to start fading. This seems like a good spot here, so I'm going to go ahead and click the button, click the checkbox, move all the way to the end of the clip, highlight it again, click volume envelope again, and from there I'm going to lower this all the way down to zero. You can see where it fades right here on this line. Click the check mark, roll it back, and then we can listen to hear how it fades. It's a little less abrupt and um, I like it a lot better. Now you could certainly start your fade process earlier in. Maybe I wanted to start it here instead. I'm going to put the button there. I'm going to go to the next button, remove that one. And that's going to make it more of a gradual fade. So let's listen again. To fade into your project, you're going to use the same method. You're going to highlight your layer, go up to volume envelope, decide where you want your music to be at its loudest, and click on the button. From there, you're actually going to go backwards and bring that down to zero. Click the check mark and take a listen. So just like before, if you're unhappy with the way it is, you can always go in and change it. Simply highlight it, click on volume envelope. Maybe you want it to be a little bit more gradual. You just slide it down a little bit click the plus button, go back to the other button, 
and remove it. This is going to make it a more gradual fade in. So let's take a listen. Okay, that's really all there is to it. I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, you know, all the YouTube stuff. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day. Thank you.